According to a paper published in 2012, Big Bang itself was a white hole. There are many questions related to the Big Bang theory that are still unanswered, like what was there before the Big Bang? Where did all the matter present inside the infinitely dense point at the time of Big Bang come from? Fortunately, all these questions can be answered by considering the existence of white holes. According to researchers, Big Bang was actually a supermassive white hole that created our universe. The whole matter that was swallowed by the supermassive black hole was released by the supermassive white hole, and hence our universe came into existence. Some scientists believe that when a black hole forms, a Big Bang may occur at the core and this Big Bang would give birth to a new universe. This new universe expands outside of the parent universe. If you don't know what is a white hole, then let me tell you that a white hole is a cosmic object that spits everything out and nothing can enter into it from outside. You can see, the properties of a white hole are just opposite to that of a black hole which swallows anything that comes close to it, as nothing can escape from a black hole, not even the light, because of its extremely high gravitational pull. But what happens to the swallowed matter inside the black hole is still a mystery. Some researchers think that a white hole may simply be the opposite end of the black hole. These two ends are connected through a theoretical tunnel of space-time, known as the wormhole. This tunnel is also called as the Einstein-Rosen bridge. All the matter and energy sucked into the black hole will be finally ejected out through the other end of the black hole, which acts as a white hole. Here, you need to know that wormhole is a shortcut through space and time. They are the special solutions to the equations of theory of general relativity by Einstein. Wormholes connect two distant points in space or time through a tunnel. Although scientists have not discovered white holes yet, but the possibility of their existence cannot be neglected. Some solutions of the equations of the general theory of relativity predicted black holes before they were actually discovered. In the same way, other solutions of these equations also predict the possibility of white holes. Although white holes have not been found so far, but mathematically, possibility of existence of white holes is equal to that of the black holes. So, it would not be wrong to think that white holes may exist. If we could find white holes in future, then many mysteries of science will be solved, like how our universe was born, what happened at the time of the Big Bang, do white holes generate new universes, what happens to the objects that fall into the black hole, do these objects enter into another dimension or ejected into another universe from the other end of the black hole, do parallel universes exist? With white holes, we would also be able to solve the mysteries of black hole information paradox and dark matter. According to the Smolin's hypothesis of cosmological natural selection, which is also known as the fecund universes theory published in 1992, a new universe is emerged on the other side of a collapsing black hole. This newly created universe may have slightly different fundamental constant parameters from the universe where the black hole collapsed. For example, in the new universe, mass and charge of the elementary particles may be slightly different, and the value of the Planck constant may be different, and so on. So, the fecund universe's theory says that each universe can give birth to many other universes, and the number of universes a universe can create is equal to the number of black holes present in it. As each black hole present in a universe has the potential to generate a new universe. According to the predictions of classical general theory of relativity, the center of the black hole is a singularity. Singularity is a place where matter is compressed down to infinity to a tiny point, and the laws of physics don't work there. 
even the concepts of space and time break down at singularity. But these predictions are not realistic, as the concept of singularity neglects the quantum effects. So, a quantum theory of gravity is needed. Loop quantum gravity is a theory that extends general relativity by quantizing space-time. This theory predicts that black holes evolve into white holes. According to the loop quantum gravity theory, fundamental building blocks of space-time are in the form of extremely small loops, and these loops have finite size. When a star having mass many times more than that of our Sun has exhausted the internal thermonuclear fuels in its core, it starts to collapse under its own strong gravitational pull. But according to the theory of loop quantum gravity, the compression of the star cannot reach to the point of singularity, that is, the point of infinite density. The theory predicts before reaching the point of singularity, the star experiences a quantum bounce. It exerts outward pressure on the star, and this black hole converts into a white hole. You will be surprised to know that this process of transformation of a black hole into a white hole takes only fractions of a second. But for the observers outside and far from the black hole, this conversion process would seem to take billions of years. Actually, this happens because of the time dilation inside the black hole. The extremely high mass of the black hole distorts the fabric of space-time. So time moves at slower rate near a black hole. But at the center of the black hole, the time almost freezes. So, any process that happens in fractions of a second inside the black hole seems to take billions of years to complete for the outside observers. Therefore, in the process of transformation of a black hole into a white hole, we will see a black hole for billions of years. As our universe is only 13.8 billion years old, we are able to see only the black holes. It may take many more billions of years before we can actually see a white hole when this transformation process completes. Hence, loop quantum gravity theory explains how white holes are formed from the black holes and why we have not been able to discover a white hole yet. With the help of this theory, we can say all the black holes that we are seeing in our universe now will turn into white holes eventually. So, if you want to see white holes, you need to wait for billions of years. With the existence of white holes, it is also possible to solve the black hole information paradox. As we know that information can never be destroyed, but all the information contained in the object falling into the black hole is lost. This concept of loss of information in the black hole creates information paradox. But the loop quantum gravity theory can solve the information paradox very easily. As per this theory, the information is not lost in the black hole. It simply gets transferred to the white hole. So the black hole information paradox doesn't arise here. So friends, if we haven't been able to observe white holes yet, we cannot say that they do not exist. According to the loop quantum gravity theory, they are already there in large numbers in our universe in the form of black holes waiting to be transformed into white holes. And isn't it amazing that perhaps all the matter that we see around us was once inside a supermassive black hole at the time of Big Bang and ejected out through a white hole. Guys, if you found the video informative and interesting, then please like and share the video. If you have any question regarding the video, please feel free to ask me in the comments. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.